want to? Do you still want to open it? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, mate. Yeah, I'll do of course, it. Of course, mate. I bought them for the show. Yes. My watermelon one's <laughs> gone missing though. My mango, <laughs> mango one's got that. Oh, here we go. We've got mango here as well. So, right, we ready to go then? Yeah. Ready. Action. Ready, man. Welcome to episode four of Sue Sofa today, people. Today we've got special guests, folk in folk singer, <laughs> Warren Island. <laughs> and we have an Elliot Moore, who's a violin player, uh, joining us today from uh, Manchester. And Warren, where are you from? I'm from Kirkby. Kirkby. Where, what, what is that? In Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire? It's near Mansfield. Near Mansfield? Yeah, closer to Mansfield than Nottingham. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we met Warren at uh, Airby Duck Festival in April. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. So uh, today no hot chili though. I, I, ah. think, I think we all all got a good steak. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Of, course, of course you can light up, brother. Uh, yeah. Okay. Blunt wraps today, motherfuckers. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we're gonna get high <laughs> and uh, just have a little good chat. So what? What you got? Watermelon right there, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the mango. I've, I've, this okay. is my original. But He's like, like, this is my original. Right. Joint. Uh, I, I expect it to just be like a normal paper, but the, it's got like crinkle cuts and everything. Yeah, what have you ever? I'm excited. Have you had one of these before? No. Oh, this we've got a black wrap virgin here, yeah, fellas. That's it. That's it. I'm confused. Got, like, is it like? Is this cling film like to spoon? No, no, no. You take cling film. You take the cling film off. Oh, look at this. Uh, okay. It's yeah. like leather. You fill it up with weed. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little bit of backy near the fucking roach, so you're not wasting none. Okay. Yeah. Roll that motherfucker up, light it up, and we'll get the Like you're explaining yeah. it's a pill thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, let's go then. I have seen a blunt wrap before, I've never seen this kind of a blunt wrap before. So then, Warren, mate. Hello. I'm going to start with you while we're making fucking blunts. Hello. Uh, yeah. Tell people what you're about, what you've been up to. I don't know where to start, really. Well, I know, you've been, been busy. busy. <laughs> been it's busy been a year. busy year. This yeah, it's been quite... a busy year, isn't it? I've been looking forward to this, because it's just like, sort of like, oh no, sit oh, down, sorry, and chill drink. out. And... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry man. Just a bit of coke. A bit of coke, do you want a whiskey or a cognac? Keep it dry for now. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not Yeah, yeah, yeah so. I'll keep it straight. Alright, so you don't you don't you don't know none of this? Not yet, but yeah, I'll, all right, I'll get on it soon. Okay, okay, well, it's a custom if you're sitting on Sue's sofa to have a fucking drink. <laughs> <laughs> I only buy it for the fucking show. They've been sitting in my fucking fridge all week. Let's guess. Whoever comes round here and asks for a cup of whiskey, I tell him to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he'll turn up in a minute. Intense. And I'll tell him to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what have you been up to? Like, um, where did you two meet? What what relationship have you two got? So I know we met you, you like, um, we met you at Ayo yeah. Duck Festival in yeah, April. Yeah. They asked um, me to stop playing on Market Street in Manchester. Yeah. That's how it was. <laughs> they wanted to get on themselves, and they were like, We'd like mate, to when, when are you going to finish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we it's like, getting a bit late now. We <laughs> wanted to get on it, and then Pete walked up to him, and he was like, yeah, what, time, what time are you finishing, kind of thing. Um, and, you know, we, I don't know. He's sort of like, yeah, half an hour in general. So then we just had a walk around because, like, we've been Manchester, <laughs> well, never. So yeah, yeah. Was that your first time? <coughs> yeah, it was our first time <laughs> in Manchester. And you met me. Yeah. yeah. And you've been chatting. They must have thought Manchester was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like last week, not. it was a bit of a mental it's week for me. me with like family stuff at home. And whatnot. But yeah, apart from that, we've been generally jamming and doing quite a bit. You know, got on a general vibe with each other. That's the power of music. Yeah. Brings people together. Well, he can play the Lord yeah. of the Rings, so he's like, he's, he's got, got my problem already, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want another one? This then? is my first uh, liquid intake of the day, so <laughs> I wouldn't even really call it that, to be honest, because it's not exactly fucking healthy, is it? Don't hydrate you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you if you cut out. I've got a question for you. Who's your favourite Manchester band? Oh, Let's choose one. Right, here's the thing. I know lots of bands, yeah. but. I know that there's some of them that will have originated in Manchester that I don't know that they came from Manchester. Oh, okay. I don't know. So I don't, I don't, um, I can tell, tell you my favourite bands. Yeah, but not, to, but not from Manchester. I don't really know or give a shit. Like, oh, uh, where, <laughs> where, you where say people, you don't know. You say you don't give a yeah, shit. <laughs> about where they come from, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. music's music, isn't it? Yeah, man. No, uh, Manchester's got a big reputation, though, for, for the. It does actually. It's, yeah, yeah. 
Um, well, we went down and like the first open awesome. mic night we went on, there was like a reasonable level of music, like and a reasonable level of talent, and then just from there the talent just increased every mm. single gig that we went to. Well, we played like a handful of gigs down there, and then. I don't know, it is just sort of like an artistic kind of city where they're all sort of like people like to express themselves yeah. and there's a lot of good people down there. Yeah. Right, all there so and you played a few venues around right? Yeah, we played the Whiskey Jar and played the Cane and Grain. Is that your favourite? What's been your favourite there then? I don't know, I quite like the Cane and Grain. The Whiskey Jar was quite cool, I did like it, the atmosphere was quite nice. But then, uh, the Whiskey, no, not the Whiskey Jar, Cane and Grain, that was like an upstairs environment, it was behind a secret door, it was like, it was quite cool. So. I've thought of an answer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because uh, then I realised, wait a minute, who do I know in Manchester? And I'm like, ah, I've got an answer. My favourite <coughs> person that's come out of Manchester is my friend Alana. She's, uh, no one knows about her, mm -hmm. really. She's got like hundreds of views on stuff. What's her full name? Uh, Alana Bondi. There you go. She's, uh, well, Alana she's, Bondi. Um, go check her out. Yeah. Alana look, look at her channel. What type of music is that? Just weird. Yeah. It was just her, like, you know, like, you know, you get those you, artists that are so unique that you can't, like them. You can't even put them in a genre. They yeah. become their own genre. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of like the same as you, though. It's like you're in your own, like, element and genre and like, the way you play the violin is kind of like the same way I play my guitar. Yeah. It's like it's the way I play my guitar and you play your violin the way well, you, you play your guitar with a stick, then, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have actually tried that one. Oh, fuck <laughs> Interesting. So, what yeah. you were. You've been at a few festivals this year then. Oh, what well, festivals off the top of your head? I you guys at Up Me Duck, and then from that I got the chance to play at Whistle, which is where we met up again. Only for a day though, because like you guys came down and played, and then you kind of had to like rush off because you were getting the album just about ready to be finished, and then getting ready to be. Finished. Yeah, that was around about that time, yeah. yeah. So, like, I don't know, after that, Rockstar, like, you got as well, got on Hot the Hustle on one stage. That was the Fox and Grapes. Uh, and we got Kimberly Jam, D.H. Lawrence birthday, you know. All of those kind of like one day is on the size, but then some other one day. Really, there's quite a few that actually we've followed you with this year then. Yeah, man. It's quite strange. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I mean, what? <coughs> what? Yeah, <coughs> Kimberly <coughs> wished the full one out. You know. Tell you what, yeah. Yeah, like first time we went to Kimberley, wasn't it? We went to Kimberley was brilliant. Man. Yeah, it was. It was quite cool. like it was like the whole town was just a massive street party, wasn't it? It was. Like, everyone getting fucked up everywhere. Nice fuck day as well. Yeah, it, it was. was. Like, it's better than the year, wasn't it? Like, thing. Essentially, everywhere was pretty packed as well. Yeah. Like I remember, it was wicked because we started in the pub and then mm. it was empty, and then within ten minutes of playing our set, the place filled up. It seemed like people were moving around, like. Checking it, everyone out, which was nice. It was the gate in that was like rammed as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's where it was like. Is that where we played? I'm not sure. No, we did. No, we played the Lord Clyde, Lord wasn't Clyde, it? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> that was all right a couple of years ago when I went down. I didn't go down like last year or this year because like. Well, when we walked in, the place was absolutely dead. <laughs> Near enough, there was like a few people in there, a handful of people in there. Yeah, the the, the nice. band before us finished their set half hour early, so you can imagine what happened. Yeah. Everyone just cleared out because there was no music, but. Yeah. Halfway through our first song, the place was at Ramoed again. You know, yeah. Real nice vibe. So, uh, what have you, any of them festivals you re I'm ta guessing you're probably revi revisiting most of them next year, aren't you? Um, well, generally, from the top of my head, what I've been telling people is like 14 festivals. Jesus, Jesus next year. Yeah. Already booked. It's pretty impressive, though. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Like, I'm 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 I might have to, I might need your help, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> I've got a festival band that I work with and do stuff with and they're they're on like five or six, just totally separate to what I've also been doing this year, but like something to smile about I'm on next year. Um, I was on Wistful but then unfortunately I Yeah they can no they cancelled yeah. the festival. Oh are they? The actual yeah, they, festival's they, been cancelled. Yeah, she's moved to Wales. Yeah. Oh, she's moved to Wales. <coughs> um, it's a shame you're in someone's take over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well the year after. Let's say that. Uh, yeah. You're going to be at Open Up Fest again, yeah. He's got your. your yeah, Matt, you? me up with that. Like, what, are you going to come perform your song that's on our album with us then, yeah? Definitely. Wicked. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see P then, Warren, man. Ooh! I know uh, you've been recording, so what, what, what has been going on? 
Well, I'm not releasing too much about it because oh, it's come like, come it's 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 come it's off it. You're on the same sofa with Sufi. Exclusive. 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 Shit, exclusive. 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 Well, what I can tell you is it's sounding bad. Breaking news. The EP sounds banging. Yeah. We know yeah. it's going to sound banging in a day, man. <laughs> like, Live from London. It's my first official, like, properly developed kind of sound, fully recorded. Release that is that all produced by you? Some self production, but then sort of like it's going to be taken to a studio and then they'll master the drums and oh, stuff. Oh, really? And then it's going to get oh, mastered. Okay. And then once that's been mastered and stuff, it's then going to get sent off again. Wow. Um, and it's going to get sent off to be generated and mastered by other people and whatnot. And then it's going to come back. And when I'm <coughs> happy, that's when it's going to go out. Yeah. <coughs> getting some promo done for it. One thing I will <coughs> say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Learn from our mistakes. Okay. Don't set a deadline till it's finished. <laughs> Don't have a release date until it's fucking finished. <laughs> I should take that. Yeah. yeah. I put myself under a lot of stress. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's very stressful when you're working against the time limit and you're nowhere near what you should have mm. been in That's pictures it. in your well, head. Especially when no one gives a fuck about like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ultimate stress on yourself that you oh, don't need. Man. It's chaos because there's so much that goes into sort of like a release of an EP yeah. or the, an album launch or a launch party. Or whatever. So you're gonna have like, a launch party for your EP. That is the plan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are we getting strippers? No, we're not. Oh. Getting strippers. I've got I've got a banging rack. I'll strip. Sure. <laughs> We'll both <coughs> sort of collect we can come to the chip range. I've spoke to Chris Roots about sort of like a you know, a general date around about the time of the release. So. Chris Roots. Yeah. Chris he's Bar just like mentioned if no nobody's heard of Roots Evenings oh, or it's Chris a good Roots look, it's a good or night. Chris Barlow. Yeah. It's not like the Roots acoustic now, is it? No, he's yeah, changed it. Roots live music. Because he's starting to work with full bands now. Yeah. And that's why he's changed it. But He's a, an organiser slash promoter over in Nottingham, Derbyshire. It's between the two really, isn't it? Mm. He's switched between the two. Amazing guy, oh, puts the work in. Anyone make music so in that I mean, area? There's any open mic night in that area, it's usually acoustic. Yeah, music. it's normally him. Yeah, Hit him up on Facebook, say hello, he's a lovely guy. Oh, he's fantastic, man. He's so you've been man. speaking to him about maybe uh, launching the EP? EP launch, he's... It's going to generally be around about the 18th, 20th of December, and it's probably going to be in Nottingham, is what we've discussed so far. Um, That's this year, yeah? Yeah, this year. Okay, no, not far. No, Say them dates far. again. <laughs> Say them again. 17th, the 18th. Oh, no. 17th, 18th. Yeah. Exclusive! <laughs> I know what I'm buying people for fucking Christmas presents and no life. Oh, wicked. Ah, oh, that's fucking good news. Ah, oh, you dropped that on me. Bit shocking, mate. Ah, oh, mm. fucking yes. Generally, we're sort of like, I'm wanting to get quite a lot done for it. Like, we got a hoodie done recently. Like, for oh, really? some merchandise ideas, yeah. It looked quite sweet, you know. What's that like, looking like then? Um, basically, on the back, it's got two bare feet footprints. Mm. And then on the front, it's got like my name and a musician underneath it. And then, yeah, sort of like we're expanding on that and then getting like a banner to go behind me when I bosk and when I yeah. go on stage and whatnot and then to get like social media on there and all the other different pieces that generally you need to stick on for promotion and blah blah blah. Yeah, that sounds good man. Yeah man, like I've actually sat down and thought about things and we planned like what I want to do what and which direction I want the EP to be going in. Like, it's just yeah. a case of doing it now. It's, yeah. So yeah. Real quickly, I just want to introduce the viewers to Mr. Peter Lindley. Yo. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Catched you yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Normally, this man's behind the camera, not yeah. in front yeah. of it. This time, it's different. <laughs> well, Peter's been taking these lads all around in the back oh, of his man. tranny van. It's not how it sounds. But no, he's uh, been setting up a PA system. Oh, yeah. man. I've, I've seen Elliot in a 2 2 uh, skirt, by the way. So yeah. Yeah. Absolutely right. Should we get it out? No, 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 I could get, 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 get the Donald Trump no, it's all right. Don't get no two twos out. I'll <laughs> take here, you'll get excited. Uh, <laughs> you don't get serious, excited. Listen serious, as Peter has got a PA system set in the back of his van and yeah. a generator and he's been taking these lads around and getting them out there, so Big up Peter, man. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah man, definitely, like, man. I've known Peter for a good two years as well, and there's been a lot of people that have come along and like fucked us about quite yeah. a lot of the time. Don't right. fuck with Peter. <laughs> yeah, we work with anybody. There. Anybody wants to do music, man, just yeah, get in man. touch, man. We're here for everyone that's music inclined, man. Peter Lindley, yeah. online the music, music promoter. Definitely blind. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, so yeah. Yeah. have yeah. you both got plans anyway. together on any projects or anything like that since We're you've been some stuff together. You've been travelling round a bit, fucking yeah. busking and that, earning a bit of money, getting your names out there and that. Oh absolutely, yeah. People have generally been sort of like approving of what's been happening as well. People it have like, like it was fucking great. Like I, I came I was in Manchester, we played together, and the vibe was so good that I just left. <laughs> well, with them. Because the yeah. thing is, like, apparently down in Manchester, all of like this scene that we've got of A up me dog and Westfall, like, it's not down there. And that kind yeah, of crime, yeah. that kind of scene isn't that. It's not about that. That's surprising. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's a city, isn't it? Bulk, isn't it? Like, it's, it's, it's strange. strange. It's just, it's just a strange sort of feel. There's a lot of really good people there. Nah. Um, but the, the sort of, I don't know. There's some. There's not. I I've, I never I never. Um, got through to the, the network of if there even is one in Manchester and I don't know why um, it's, uh, it seems a bit less open quite closed off quite mm. uh, cle cliquey mm. you know well, I, you get, I think you, you sort of get I reckon it is like that everywhere there is almost it? Like, everywhere we wouldn't have known about acoustic roots or anything unless we'd actually gone out there and mm. like yeah. to meet the people like you say it seems like it's and a again, like, tightly knit group you know what I mean if I, it was even like that in Grantham I thought we did all like Grantham live music so yeah, yeah we didn't even really realise like, do you know what I mean we've been making music yeah like and we didn't even know that there was these like networks and communities around us what do you, do you know what I mean that? and uh, just by chance <coughs> we managed to bump into one person mm. And then throughout the space of a year, we meet another person and another, but we didn't realise that they're all part of the same community. Mm. It's only just now. And I think, again, like with that, we all, like you were saying, that, that wistful, yeah. A Let Me Duck, Roots, Acoustic, all that lot, it's all that same one community. There's That's loads it, of them yeah. everywhere. It's just hard finding them because you don't know about them, innit? Yeah. Like, it's like, before I got and on... I reckon, with again, sorry, to, like, with yeah. obviously playing the violin and everything, it's sort of similar to our... We were rappers at first, we didn't have a band or anything, until mm. we got a band, I couldn't imagine of us doing a gig. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Just putting on instrumentals and mm. rapping, like, I don't think it would have appealed to people down at the Castle Gate as much as what it would if we had a band. Mm. Yeah. And things like that. Like, so again, it, you I think get, at first it was yeah. very hyper You could get away with it in other places, obviously, where, it, where they do love up the urban music, <coughs> local, but there isn't a lot of it round here, it's all mainly... Ooh. Bands. Yeah. All mainly, yeah. <coughs> oh dear. On the rotation. Yeah. That's the watermelon. <coughs> That's the watermelon, that's the mango. You're yeah, right there, worried like that right. a bit there. You're right there, yeah? I'm all good. Yeah, don't die. Don't kill him, don't soon, die. Don't, him <laughs> don't die. Not before your fucking EP drops. <laughs> 17 for the 18th. 17 for the 18th. Can we not just have both days and make it a one big massive fuck up? Like everyone go mad. <laughs> it's a possibility. Two album launches, mate. Two album launches. Yeah. 17th, 18th. Fuck it up. We'll come support you. Yeah. Do you want to get on this, Pete? You before no, me. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I'm Session on fumes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hot box. It's the first Chilly, time, it's the first time we've done something else. Normally it's been hot sauce. Yeah. I, I got bored of the hot sauce. I'm sure, sure people you got saying that. I don't think hurt. people got bored of us seeing nah, us hurt ourselves anyway. It's just I could be bothered with having the shits tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it does to you? say, yeah. Did, did the chilli, th do you, uh, Pete said something about it. You, what did you do? Could you tell me what you did? Well, we have like past two have been roulette. Ten hot sauces, and then we just put a load of them on either chicken wings or vegan sausages, depending on what the preference is. But and then basically, when you get to the end of them, they're fucking. I don't, I don't even know how many Scovilles. Yeah. Six million Scovilles. Yeah, you get some Scovilles. No, but here's some cognac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! And he said he was going to stay dry. <laughs> What she said. Oh yeah, the missus won't be happy when he gets home. She'll be phoning me up like, what the bloody hell you've done to him? <laughs> no, it's not that. She'll just see me walk in and then she'll roll her eyes and do that. <laughs> <laughs> so what about Elliot, man? You got any projects coming? <coughs> yeah, man. I, it's just, uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not the sort of guy to uh, um, you know, write stuff down and plan things. It's more... I, I, I feel yeah, it's it's like like you know, said with the time scale and stuff with these projects. I can feel like four or five projects all all on the go right now and once I get my studio from Manchester into the place I'm at here, just so much stuff's gonna happen. Mm. Collaborations, just experimentation so of every kind. Briefly yeah. chatting out, it's the first time I've met you. Um say that you produce. Yeah. Yeah, like what sort of stuff do you produce at all? Like, do you make beats or anything like that at all? Or? Yeah, I incorporate beats, but um, 
So it's, like it's you that's a part your violin of violin and idea. then and then make the beat round your violin right. sort of thing, I or just, vice versa. I'm, I just experiment. Ah, the best you know way. What I mean, the I want to make way. something. I was saying this to Warren actually. What I want to do is release the dirtiest track. Like take 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 a what? Who did I say? A break core. Break right, right, like break core stuff. Core. Break core yeah. stuff. Like uh, try just trying to think like, like of the um, the kind of. <laughs> Is it alright? Right. Oh yeah, it's alright. It's a bit drinky. It's, it's, it's the second of the It's the second of the It's the second of the the best of his mate, you're alright. Do you want a drink? Cheers. The cannon. That'll be for the outtakes. So, uh, sorry, fucking we got sidetracked then. Um, I was just Experimenting saying. and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so, I want to yeah. release something really, you know, you know, like a heavy, dirty, gritty music. Rotation. Imagine the most ugly music oh. you can imagine. I want to release that's something good. that's twice. Oh, thank you. Uh, I want to release something that's twice as ugly. You know, the next step in that. And so then when you say ugly, do you mean like making horrible music or making something that's like that sounds dirty right. but good? Uh, yeah, it's like dirty but good. Yeah. Dirty but like good. Like ugly, <coughs> ugly. Do you ugly. know what I mean? Ugly, ugly, good. ugly, mm. ugly. In a, in a northern accent, you can't say it. No. It has to be from the north. I'm sorry, but I'm not northern. I don't know. You might not have noticed. Ugly. Might, but, yeah, I don't. King of the north. Bath. You oh. can say ugly though. Ugly. Ugly. Oh, oh, you can say ugly. You say, I heard I you say it. Yeah, because I was taking the piss. Oh, no. <laughs> Doing it. Ugly. Yeah, man. Ugly. So ugly. How do you say bath? Like a troll. How do you say bath? Just, how do you say bath? Uh, bath. Bath. Yeah, see. Warren. Bath. Bath. Peter. These are all movie. fucking northerners, apart yeah. from him. And me. Bath. Bath. Yeah, it's 40 yeah, free. Yeah, free. So if I'm from down south and all you muck yeah, yeah, you live here, you're old like you here. Yeah. You've lived here, you're old like you lost me accent. You're not from, you're not from, no. You're from Israel. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, and your uh, name that you go by online, what is it? I, I actually wrote it down as well. Spiral Scape. Yeah. See, I had to yeah. think twice about it because my spelling's terrible and I probably <laughs> spelled it wrong. Sure. Like. Mm. Anyway, Spiral Scape, so <laughs> if anyone wants to find you online, let Ta- find your stuff, Spiral Scape. Just type in Spiral Scape into pretty much anything, it's, it'll be on there. I'm trying to get myself onto it, pretty much everything. Instagram's the last one that I've not hit yet, but soon, soon. So and then my you... website's spiralscape.com, so it's just that word okay. everywhere. Just everywhere. So if you want to check them out, make sure you hit that up, spiralscape.com. Can we get some music popping? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like they're evil, it's YouTube, that'll call Spiral Skate. Evil. Evil, Spiral Skate, evil. Spiral Skate, evil. Spiral Skate, evil. Spiral Skate, evil. Yeah. Spiral Skate, evil. What's that Draxation and all that I've been keep on seeing popping up Distraction. in Distraction. Distraction. It's like a collective of all like different <coughs> things. Um, like we've got a producer involved at one point and then there was me and Pete and then we do all the bits and pieces. But generally we're trying to sort of like just disperse music. Kind of like a side thing. Sort of not weren't sure if it was you or you. He's ex yeah. yeah. ministry of sound. He's, he was there in the heyday. Oh, you the told us about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, he's been at the game for uh, about seven years now and he's making a comeback. Mm. And he's like looking for all local talent and stuff. He's looking for you guys, mate. We, 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 we want your tracks. Yeah. You know, we want to remix them and take them into a different orbit. Turn it inside out. And backwards, basically. No, no. And, and um, we want to basically help well, finish us off. That's the struggle. We're sharing cups. Yeah, we're going to do this now. Music in 2018. Come on, come on. Yeah, good lad. We're not on the episode. What flavour is this one? Yeah, so I think that was the uh, the what? No, that's the mango. That's the other one. Yeah, mango. So you're going to be at Ate Me Duck next year, yeah? Most definitely. Oh, I know for definite, Ate Me Duck's our first festival of the year, isn't it? Next year. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> if he's going to be there, make sure you go check him out as well. Oh, yeah? Definitely. It's a banging festival. It'll be the first one for the year for us. I don't know about you. It might It might actually be the first one, first festival for the year for you. I don't know. Well, festival season next year is going to start. I don't know. It's but, uh, one or two that are fairly early, but I'm planning one or two special things for him. If you see these guys out on road, they go to different towns almost every single day. Make sure you go spread some love, yeah? They get hotted up by the council all the time. <laughs> Fuck Mansfield Council! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and you're trying to move yours. them on after half hour and that, like, this ain't free lands, yeah? It doesn't matter, they can jam all they want and there's motherfuckers out there causing a nuisance. It goes on in every town, yeah? Make sure you so show some support and show some love. 
on that note, I'm going to make him smoke a bit more of that and then sing a song. <coughs> Who wants to see that, yeah? Yeah! yeah. Go on, yeah. 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 Go on. Yeah. cough your lung up and then sing us a song <laughs> then, bruv. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it was just...